Hello, everyone. It's Erica here for me to paper crafts. I'm so glad to be back. I didn't do Case the Caddy last Thursday night, and I was away on the weekend, and I did not do my Mojo Monday either. So I missed two Facebook Lives, but I'm happy to be back this Thursday night, and I am making a card from one of my favorite stamp sets from the January to April mini catalog, and I'm really, really happy to know that this particular stamp set is carrying forward into the brand new catalog. So I'm really happy about that because I made a couple of cards, but I haven't made enough. And I think it's just an adorable card. It's the perfect card to send in the mail and you'll see what I mean. So let me just turn to my, um, my um, iPad for a second. I just want to pull up Facebook and make sure that I'm live and that you can see me. I didn't do and make sure. So there we go. Okay, I can see me now. So if you're new to me, I'd love for you to just give me a little comment just to say hello and maybe perhaps uh, where you're from. So my name is Erica. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Victoria, British Columbia. So I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator, one of many. And um, I love everything about Stampin' Up. I love creating. I love teaching. I love just everything about it. I've met so many wonderful friends through Stampin' Up! And we all have a common interest. That's card making, paper crafting, making boxes. We have lots of events. We have lots of fun. We have lots of laughs. We eat a lot of snacks sometimes. Anyway, it's lots of fun. If you're interested in knowing more about joining and getting a uh, creative discount, then uh, you are welcome to contact me. I see I have a, I'm going to call him my son, since he's always calling me mom. Hey, mom. Hi, Shy. How are you? Shy is from Sydney, Australia. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's early morning there. Maybe it's morning tomorrow. I think you're a day ahead tomorrow. So it's your Easter weekend there as well, isn't it, Shy? Let me know what you're up to this weekend. Yeah, so today, tonight, we're going to be making a really, really cute card. So it's Case the Caddy, which means I take a project out of the catalog. And as long as I have the products, then I can make it. And if I don't have all the products, then I um, can, you know, change things up a little bit. It's 2 p.m. on Friday. Well, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Okay, so I'm going to change my view to show you my desktop so that we can get started here. I'm just going to switch it over and I'm going to pull it down. And I'm going to show you the catalog. Now this light might be a little bit too bright. Okay, let's bring it down a little bit lower. All right, so this is the um, this is the catalog. This is expiring at the end of April. So you've still got time to pick up products if you haven't yet completed your wish list. And um, a lot of the things will be retiring. But this one, I was really happy to note that this is carrying forward into the new catalog. So it's just an adorable stamp set. I'll show you the stamp set. So it's got this mailbox. Now, sadly, in Canada, maybe Eastern Canada has these types of mailboxes, but in Victoria, we don't have these types of these types of mailboxes. These are more American style mailboxes. And the fun thing about the American style uh, boxes is that you can you can not only pick up your mail from the box, but you can put mail to go out in the box. And I think you pull the flag down and that tells the postman that there's mail in there for him to pick up and deliver. Isn't that cool? So it's got this mailbox. So you can stamp it um, out and, and color, hand color it. You can either use, you know, your watercolor uh, pencils or you can use your blends. Um, and then it's got um, a cute little envelope stamp that you can uh, die cut and put inside the uh, mailbox if you want. You've got a couple of other little stamps that you could stamp the outside of the envelope for your actual card that you make. This one says sent with love with some hearts on it. Then this one says a little note to say I miss you. And then you've got welcome friend. You've got this adorable little bird for airmail. Some, some little hearts, another little heart. And then you've got this postage thingamajiggy. 
And here's another postage thingamajig. So you've got some fun stuff for decorating your envelope. You could even make a card that kind of looks like the outside of an envelope as well. Okay, so that's the stamp set. They are our red rubber stamps. So they stamp beautifully, of course. And then we've got a set of dies. This is what makes stamping so fun is that you can die cut things. And then as a result, you can, um, you can, um, I want to ask you, Sean, can you hear some background noise? I'm going to be quiet for a second. Let me know if you can hear vacuuming. Because my husband is vacuuming upstairs and our bedroom is right above my craft room and it's a wood floor up there so I can hear it. But I think um, when you go live with this StreamYard product, it doesn't. No, you don't hear anything. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So here's the set of dies that comes with this set as well. Now, Shai, I don't know if you know this, but you know there are lots of Australian demonstrators, Stampin' Up! demonstrators. So if you or Sarah ever wanted to start getting into card making or gift packaging, you could find a Stampin' Up! demonstrator right in, in, in Sydney or close to your home. You never know. All right, so here are your dies. So here's the mailbox, and it's kind of like a fold-over mailbox, and we'll see how that works. There, Here's a cute little envelope that you can die cut as well. You've got some grass here that you can cut out. You've got the, um, the actual post box stand or the post that goes in the ground. Here's the die that will actually cut out this image so as i was saying earlier you could stamp this and color it and then you could um, cut it out you've got the little flag you've got some other grassy bits and you've got some other little elements here that you can use for die cutting so to save a bit of time tonight i did die cut some of the pieces so i'll show those to you before I do that, I just want to show you. So this card I made on January the 4th for Case the Caddy. But I really like this card inside here. When they show you these the dies that coordinate with the stamp sets, they also put extra examples on here. So check this one out. Look how cute this is. Isn't that cute? I just want to see if I can... Um, Bear with me a sec. I just want to see if I can share share my screen. Okay, I don't have it up right now. So never mind. But I have a picture of this. Um, I blew it up in a Word document just so that we could see it better. I'll just... Um, I'll just pull it up closer to the camera so you can see it. So the mailbox, the fun thing about this is the, is the mailbox, you could die cut this out of some foil paper or you could use any other kind of paper. So often um, I notice that these mailboxes are often pa painted. They might have flowers on them. I mean, you can do all kinds of things. Um, so I took this paper. We have this designer series paper. It's a six by six paper pack. And it's called Glorious Gingham 6x6. So I took a piece of this gingham paper in the blue and I die cut the, the um, mailbox. Okay. So you, you, cut the, you cut this out and then you fold it. I'm just trying to figure out where that fold is. There it is right there. Okay, fold it in half. 
actually this is the first time I'm actually making the mailbox so just bear with me as I figure it out yeah so you've got this little glue flap here so I will be gluing that to that so there's the little mailbox and then Bear with me a sec, I'm trying to figure out how this goes. This round bit is the top corner of the mailbox. I don't think there's another fold here. Or is there? No. But it should show that the lid is open a little bit. I wonder if this folds over. No, that doesn't make sense. So I'm not sure how that works. And I folded it inside out anyway. I want the small check on the outside. Just bear with me as I manipulate this little thing. Okay, I think I've got it now. Okay, now when you die cut this out, they've conveniently given you a little tiny hole. So if you wanted to, you could put a tiny little brad through there to hold the flag up. And then you could actually move the flag, you know, up and down on the mailbox. Okay, now I don't have any tiny little brads here. So I'm really not go going to do that. So I'm going to just put it in place. And then I think I'll put maybe a little rhinestone on here to just close that. Okay. So let's glue this together. Now, this has given you the ability, once I glue this flap down, I'll be able to put the envelope inside, which is kind of cool. Okay. So let me get out my glue. I'm just going to glue this little flap closed. So, Shai, you were asking what we're planning for the weekend. Well, to be honest with you, not much. Um, I thought Devin and Travis were going to come for dinner this weekend, but they've got plans. So we're not going to see them until next weekend. But it's supposed to be really nice here. And I am looking forward to getting out on my brand new bike. Phil bought me an e-bike for my birthday. Lucky me. Okay, so I am going to glue this right onto my mailbox here. And I'm going to just put this up like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with the envelope, the envelope is actually filled with some flowers. And the flowers are coming from this really cute embellishment pack. We've got these beautiful little flowers. There's three colored, well, there's four colored flowers in here. And then there's hearts as well. So this is my little envelope. So I'm going to fold this as well. I'm going to get my bone folder. And I'm just going to score each of these flaps to create our little envelope. This is so adorable. Okay, so this is, see how cute that is? How that's folded up like that? Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just on this bottom section of this flap here. And put that over like that. Okay, now I wanted to show you this other die. Remember I showed you the, um, the grass die? This is the grass die here, okay? So it doesn't cut the whole thing out. So you need to snip off the end 
yourself, okay? So I'm just gonna snip that off and snip this off. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this in half. We're gonna cut this, actually, we need to cut this, the width of this envelope, because I wanna tuck it inside the envelope. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure. So I'm gonna cut it up there. So there's one bit of grass. And I'm gonna overlap it. So I'm going to cut another little bit of grass. Okay. So I'm going to be tucking these inside the envelope. Now, if I was smart, I would put this in before I glued it up, but that's okay. Hopefully I can get it in there. Okay, so there's one little piece. Then I'm going to glue in the other little piece. Okay, so I'm going to make this. Let's put some glue on here. You might think this is a bit fiddly, but once you get used to die cutting and putting things together, it's kind of a lot of fun. Okay. And then this piece, I'm going to try and put in A little bit lower. Might not even have to. Oh, I should glue it. Okay, just let me get my tweezers out. I think I need my tweezers. Yeah, let me pull that out. I'm going to put a bit of glue on here too. And then just slide it in place. So I'm sliding that in a little bit lower than that first bit of grass because I want it to overlap. See that? Okay, there's our grass. I think so. Hi, Carol. You had time to join when you're packing up? Carol and her hubby are heading off on a long road trip. All right. So we've got our little, our little envelope. Now we're going to put on some of these embellishments here. So let me just grab my take your pick tool. Here we go. And I need my pokey end. And I'm going to put. Now I'm going to do a mixture of flowers, even though the picture shows just these little pink ones, because I need the tiny ones and I don't have I might not have enough. So I'm going to do a mixture of little flowers. I'm going to stick one there. I think I'll stick a bigger one in somewhere. Here. Let's do a little blue one. I'll just do three little flowers. Look how sweet that is. I love that. Look how cute that little envelope is. Oh my gosh. All right, here's my card base. Now, the other thing we need is it looks like they've put a piece of white across here. So let me just grab a piece of white cardstock here. And I just want to figure out. I think I'll cut it. I'm just doing a little. Um, let's see. Let's just do it to here. So I'm just going to trim that. So 
So I'm cutting it to about three and three quarters is what it turns out to be. Let's see how it looks on here. That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on here. Now you could add a little, I might add a little texture on here, but first I'm going to stamp at the greeting. So I'm going to do this um, a little note to say I miss you. And we're stamping it right on this white piece here. Get so I'm just putting it like right there. Oh, you're packing and watching. Well, that's good. You getting excited for your trip? So I think I'm going to emboss this. I'm going to step it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to use, I have one of our basics embossing folders and it's got these little flowers on it. So I think I'm going to carry on with the little floral theme. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to run that through my machine. So my stamp image will have some embossing on it. Well, Carol, I wish you the best trip. I mean, we'll be chatting along the way, I'm sure. Did you decide on which dress you're going to bring with you for the wedding? All right, so I've given this a little bit of texture, and I'm just going to glue this onto pretty well the center of my card. So let's do that. Hard to see this white glue on white with the texture particularly. All right, let's just center this on here. Okay, now we can build our cute, adorable mailbox. So I'm going to be, and we're putting it on a little bit crooked. So I'm going to lay this down with some glue. This is beautiful. This is die cut and it's got some embossing in there to give it some texture, which is really cool. Okay, I'm going to put that on there like that. And then we've got... You see, this is going to sit in here. So see, it looks like the lid or the door is um, open. And then this is just going to sit in here like that. How cute that is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on the mailbox. Just like that. So let's put some glue on here I cannot get over how adorable this mailbox is now that I figured out how it works and look at this little oh my gosh look at that Oh my god, I'm just tickled pink with this. And nothing really needs to be on dimensionals because as you build this little envelope, it's kind of thick a little bit. So we're just going to stick that in like that. Look at that, you guys. Isn't, oh my gosh, I just love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. So now I want to make one in a whole. So with this um, gingham paper, I think there are, what? how many colors are in here? There's Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock. So you could make the same card in all the colors. So I think I'm going to make a couple of those three or I think I'll make three other cards. So I've just used the Blueberry Bushel. Berry Burst is a beautiful pink color and Lemon Lime Twist is a green color. It would be fun to do a whole bunch of the same card. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That is so cute. So now I'm looking at my mailbox and I should have glued this end as well down. Maybe I can stick some glue in there. Yes, I can. Yeah, you want to glue the end shut. Yeah, super cute, isn't it, Carol? There you go. A little note to say, I miss you. I miss you already. Carol and I spent the weekend together. Shy, we went over to Vancouver to Delta. We stayed on a house in on a house in a house on the water. We saw geese swimming by and um and swans. And there were other little birds, cormorants. We saw a cormorant um, go fishing, dove into the water to go fishing. And they catch these big fish and they stretch their neck up to swallow it. And apparently the owner of this home was saying that she saw once that the fish actually made its way back up and came out. Didn't get swallowed up. That would have been something to see. All right, you two. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Carol, have a wonderful trip. And uh, Shy, enjoy your Easter weekend. And I will see you. Oh, Marianne just popped in. Hi, welcome. I'm glad you like the card. Thank you. All right, have a wonderful Easter weekend. And I will see you uh, next Thursday night. Bye, everyone. Finished already?